This project is important for the European uh, people because it will uh, give some important uh, accessibility for raw materials which are for the moment very critical. It's uh, challenging to recycle this type of materials because usually they are in small amounts. Today it's very difficult to say whether it makes sense to recycle neodymium magnet or, or not and with this project we will be able to see how much more would it cost to recycle neodymium from a magnet compared to buying a neodymium magnet from China. Uh, there are many, many uh, participants in, in this from both academia and from industry and the reason is that it's very complex. So we are looking into three different ways to recycle neodymium magnets. Uh, one is the thermal method, one is an extraction method and a third is using a solvent. In this case we use the same technology that the Chinese use to develop the method metals from the ore. It's a high temperature electroly it electrolyzes cell. And since they use it, it's possible probably to use it for recycled materials as, yes, as it is for the mining. But dismantling is also a very important part that we discussed the last. How could you dismantle? And the equipment that I have behind me here is one of the alternatives for dismantling. The outcome should be to see how much more would it cost and see if the commission or the uh, legal society would like to have a legal uh, incentives to recycle those elements because today we recycle nothing from uh, magnets, no neodymium and no dysprosium. We are very much focused on implementation, on commercialization. So the main objective and the main result will be to build up two pilots in Europe, in two different places in, uh, in Europe, one in UK, another one in Norway, to actually demonstrate in sight that the technology is uh, viable.